Good afternoon, and I'd like to welcome everybody to this presentation here at Bishop Nashville High School. I am Deacon Martin Sork, the principal of Bishop Nashville High School, and on behalf of the faculty and staff, I'd like to welcome you here. For those that are here, thank you for coming today, and those that are on Facebook, thank you for chiming in and looking at what we're doing. We will begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please join in together. O Christ, our teacher, you invite your faithful people to make disciples in your name and to announce good news to the poor. We thank you for the gift of Catholic schools where the message of your life, death, and resurrection is proclaimed. Christian community is experienced. Service to our brothers and sisters is modeled and worship of you is cultivated. Increase our zeal for ensuring that all children and families can benefit from a high-quality Catholic education, and that Catholic schools grow in their ability to nurture the soul of our nation. We ask this through the intercession of our Lady, Mother of the Catholic Schools. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, thank you for joining us. Bishop Nashbuck High School has an incredible history since 1958 and has done a lot in those years since then. We're also looking to the future and building on the future of where we want to go. And in thinking about at our school, Bishop Nashville High School, there's really three things that makes our school unique. We are Catholic. Our students grow in their love of God through the heart of the church so that they can be lifelong disciples. We are distinctly and passionately Catholic. We are academic and strive for academic excellence. We offer rigorous academics that emphasize critical thinking and that prepare students for college and life as Christians. And finally, we are a community. We are a small school of just about 400 kids. And as a community, Matchbuck is diverse and a tight family where we are connected to each other as faculty, students, and community. These are the three things, Catholic, academic, and community, that make our school what it is. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to talk to you about three initiatives that we'll be implementing over the next year to help improve our school as we build toward the future. For those here live with us, you have an index card. If you have any questions throughout the presentation, please jot down those questions, those comments, those thoughts that you have and we'll be happy to answer those after we're done here or over the next week, we'll get back to you on it. For those that are watching us through Facebook, you can email me at dnestoric, D-N-E-S-T-O-R-I-C-K, at matchbuff.org. And we'll publish the answers to all your questions next week on our website. There are three programs announcements that we want to make today. We want to talk about the implementation of a classical track starting with our incoming class, this freshman class, the class of 2021. We want to talk about enhancements to, for our upperclassmen to their courses and the course offerings that we have. And then also talk about a transparent tuition model. But let us start with the classical track. Classical education has been around for centuries. And our school has been talking about classical education for some time. And we are now at the point where we can implement this next year with a cohort group of students. Classical education, as it's up here on the board, classical education aims at forming the minds and reshaping the souls of the young. The purpose is not training students to become skilled or servile workers. The purpose is to cultivate wisdom and virtue. Students learn truth, encounter beauty, and experience goodness leading to deeper relationship with God. While fighting against the modern trends of relativism, the classical method aims to reconnect students with the true notions and purpose of nature, man, and ultimately God. But why are we doing this? Why are we implementing a classical track here at the school? We're doing it, one, because it supports and nurtures our school mission and values. The mission of our school to create saints of the future is directly in line with the classical program 
at our school. Also, a classical education has shown proven success over time. We're not only just talking 10 years worth of time, we're talking centuries worth of time. It also expands the opportunity to provide Catholic high school experience to more students. There are many in the Denver community that want a high school where a classical education is offered. And finally, our community is asking us to have a classical program here at Nashville. The request and the funding and even the design was all influenced and brought about through our community. A classical track, a classical education, really has three key components. One is that there is a humanities core, meaning that we brought together our science and our social studies so that the two are linked and the students learn about science, social studies, and English together as one block of education. Then there's the trivium, the meeting of three ways, grammar, logic, and rhetoric, and students studying in those ways. And then finally, the offering of Latin. Our classical track will bring together all three of these components of the humanities core, the trivium, and Latin education. If you're looking at it from a possible course sequence, our students would have six classes a day, one of those being a double block class where they have the humanities, for instance, as a freshman, classical history and literature, bringing those two together. Then they'll have a theology one class, grammar and composition, Latin, biology, and depending upon where their math is at, algebra or geometry. You can also see what this may look like as the students go through the years as a sophomore, a junior, or as a senior. What are we going to do? How are we going to do this? What are the logistics of it? Our first step is we already have a team that is working to hire a director and a teacher for the classical program. Someone with a classical background, someone who has experience with this that can lead our school. We will be implementing this with this incoming freshman class. They will be our first cohort group. Unfortunately, our upperclassmen won't have that opportunity. But it will start, we will be starting with the freshmen and building that program over a four-year period of time. We're targeting 20 to 25 students in this first cohort group and building it every year after. This group will have four classes, four periods a day, together as a cohort. Their humanities, their Latin, and their trivium. But they'll also have three classes a day where they're in with the rest of the students taking theology, math, and science. Students who go through this classical program over the course of four years, those students will receive not only a diploma from Bishop National High <coughs> School, but a certificate saying that they've graduated from a classical program. The same Bishop Manchville High School tuition rates apply to students participating in the classical track. The only difference will be there will also be a book fee for one of the components of the classical program is the students are reading from primary or classical books. And those books need to be theirs as they mark in them and really dive into those readings. So the first piece we're extremely excited about is that we are starting a classical program that has been, been funded separately and totally by our community and is a result of the community asking us to have it. The second thing that we're here to announce today is the opportunity for the upperclassmen to have course enhancements. There are multiple reasons why over the course of the four years kids, students leave Bishop Matchbook High School. When we talk to them, in some cases it's just not a good fit for various reasons. Some with families that can't continue to financially afford our school. Other families move out of state, out of the city. But one of the other things that our kids say is that if we are limited in our curriculum at opportunities. We don't have all the electives that some students want to take. So how do we address this? That is something completely within our control to help students continue their experience here at Bishop Manchbush High School. We have started by addressing that by having dual credit classes where our students can take a class here and it also is offered by a professor at the University of Mary and they take it online. 
but we need to go further. I am pleased to announce today that we have formed a partnership with Catholic Virtual School. It's an online school, nonprofit Catholic school that offers over 150 high school accredited classes. Our students, our upperclassmen, our juniors and seniors will have an opportunity to take these classes during the upcoming years. We will be contracting for at least 200 seats, which will allow every single junior or senior to take at least one class of their choosing from the Catholic Virtual School if they decide to do so. If we have additional seats, our juniors and seniors will have that opportunity to take additional classes beyond just the one class that they like to. We'll also be able to use this for some kids that have tough schedules or need a little bit different. For instance, this year we had one student who really is excelling in his history. He wanted to take uh, AP World History. This would provide us the opportunity to provide him those classes even though he's a sophomore at that time. And so we can use these classes to help our students have that differentiation that they need. Students who take these classes will take them in place of one of their classes here at the school. So instead of taking seven match up classes, they'll take six. They'll have one open period where they either can hear or at home with the agreement of the parent, take that class and work through it. We'll be working out the policies in the next couple of weeks about how to offer the on-campus and the off-campus options. So we have the classical track starting this year. We're also working to expand the opportunities for our kids to have different classes, economics, psychology, probability and stats, a plethora of, of AP classes. The third piece that we're announcing today is a transparent tuition assistance model. We have been asking ourselves the question, and we've heard the question from many of our families, how do we ensure that Catholic families see the possibility of sending their child to a Catholic high school as an affordable option. There are many parents and families who don't even see it as an option. How do we have a tuition assistance program that's transparent so that pa families know prior to applying the assistance that may be available to them? And how do we minimize the subjectivity of, the, of our tuition assistance program? Over the last several months, I've been working with various groups throughout the school on a tuition assistance plan, a plan that will continue to ensure the financial responsibility of our school, while at the same time instituting a system for tuition assistance that minimizes or eliminates subjectivity, institute systems that provide tuition assistance in a manner that's fair as possible in respect to the family's income, and is it transparent with tuition assistance so families know that Bishop Mashbuff is affordable and is a viable option, while it will still be a sacrifice on every family's part. We will be transitioning to <coughs> the tuition assistance model during this upcoming year. The model will be provide access, transparency, and objectivity. The system will be in place for all our new incoming students. For our students that are currently at our school, those students will have the option of going under the old system with the financial aid they have been receiving or applying to be part of the new financial aid system as well. This will be based upon the parent, parent preference. The system will also ensure that we work with families to fund, the, excuse me, work within the funds that the, we are given from other agencies and other organizations to help with us with it. It also complements move the direction the diocese is going with financial aid and tuition assistance. The plan is fairly simple. It based on, bases tuition assistance on the family's adjusted gross income. Our tuition next year will be $10,800 for parish affiliated, $11,800 for unaffiliated families. Those that are affiliated will pay 8% of their adjusted gross income up to the full tuition with a minimum of $2,500. And again, we'll utilize scholarships and tuition assistance from outside agencies as resources to help us in addition to funding it through the match uh, budget. To participate in this program, our families will have a couple of choices. 
One, they can continue to use FAIR if they'd like to. At the same point in time, they can also just submit to us their tax return, and we'll be able to use the adjusted gross income on the bottom of that to be able to figure out the tuition rate. If there is no tax return, we would need a letter from their employer. The other piece is that they would have to agree to participate in any scholarship opportunities that we would be providing them through the school. So if you're looking at it, the parish affiliated rate is 8% of the adjusted gross income, or $10,800, whichever is lower, with a minimum of $2,500, a $500 registration fee. Non-affiliated rate, those not affiliated with the parish, would be at 9.5%, or $11,800, whichever is lower, again, with a $500 registration fee. And we do have about 5 to 10% of our students that are international. Those students will be paying $16,000 and a $1,000 registration fee. There is, and we will continue to have, a one-time assessment fee which covers the ACT and all the different college preparatory testing of $175, and there is a discount for those with multiple students in our school. In doing this, our school still has to be financially responsible. We need to make sure that we have the money to cover and to fund the opportunities for these scholarships. And so while we will be offering, with the acceptance of students to our school, the amount of tuition assistance that they will have available to them, there is only so many spots at every level of assistance that we'll be able to offer to them. So once they pay their registration fee, they will be guaranteed the assistance that is promised. We have, at this point in time, great opportunity of building on the past and looking toward the future. We have a classical plan that we're putting in place, course enhancements for our upper grade students, and a tuition model that will make this stronger viability for our students. Why are we doing all these things? We're doing these things because they fit into the overall mission of our school. Our mission, where we are an academic community of faith, striving to form the hearts, the minds, and souls of our students. We are a passionately Catholic school. We are an academic institution. And we are a community. Last week I went to our students and I asked them to sit, put together a video that talks about our school and what our school is about. We had multiple students submit videos as part of this competition. And I'm thrilled today to share with you the winning video. This video I share with you today. I'm Elizabeth and I go to Bishop Matchbook High School. Uh, hey, I'm Luke Tran. Um, I'm a junior at Matchbook. My name is Juliet at the Parchman, and I go to Bishop Matchbook High School. Okay, uh, I'm Noah, I go to Bishop Matchbook High School. I'm Erasmo Medina, and I go to Bishop Matchbook High School. My name is Michael Pearson, I go to Bishop Matchbook High School. This is Bishop Matchbook High School, founded by Joseph P. Matchbook. Here we strive to grow academically, spiritually, and in character. Now that it's 8.15 and the bell's rung, it's time to start class. This is geometry class, one of the many math classes we have. Mrs. Clark strives to help students develop critical mathematical thinking skills that they'll need in their futures. Time for our second period class, where Senior Man teaches us the importance of speaking Spanish. Next is house time, where students from all grades get together to get to know one another by doing fun activities and organizing school events. Up next is Mr. Moran's class, where he helps his students understand scripture and helps students dig deeper into the life of Jesus. Afterwards, it's time for some literature, where we're learning how stories reflect our own human characteristics. After prayer, it's finally time for some lunch. You can sit in the cafeteria and enjoy the company of your friends. And after some well-deserved lunch, it's time to go to chemistry, where you learn about properties of substances combining or separating and how they interact with energy. After sixth period, it's time for some seventh period world history, where Mrs. McKenzie teaches thousands of years of history in two semesters. 
Then it's finally time for some art, where students get to show their individuality by painting and expressing themselves through art. Last but not least, it's finally time for connections, where students can get the help they need from any teacher they want to see. And when the final bell rings, it's time to go home, unless you want to stay, to talk to a teacher, to see some friends, or to have practice on the football field, soccer field, the gym, or even the weight room. Matchbook is truly amazing, with many opportunities, new friends to be made, and a school waiting just for you. So from all the students at Bishop Matchbook High School, we sincerely hope to see you at our school soon. Thank you for considering Bishop Matchbook High School as your future school. Thank you for taking the time out of your day, and may God bless you.